Good morning, you absolute legends. I am back at making videos again. I just thought it would be a pertinent time to make a video today because I'm riding out to Ballarat, which is about 150 kilometers, and riding back with Francis Cade and Chris Hall tomorrow. So uh, that should be good. They're uh, both YouTubers. But I thought I'd shoot this whole vlog, this whole video on my new iPhone 11 Pro and show you guys what the footage looks like. Uh, the viability of using an iPhone or a smartphone as a vlogging camera and uh, what, are the, what are the downfalls with it. So uh, let's get on the road. It's a beautiful day here in Melbourne. to Ballarat I will be going through the city through South Bank it is a beautiful part of the world it's uh especially on a day like today where the sun's out mate it's an outstanding place to come for a beer have lunch but uh expensive So I'm using an app called Dualgram right now, which can use the front camera and the back camera at the same time. Pretty handy little app. But uh, it is spring in Australia, which means all the snakes are coming out. So that's a bit of roadkill. I think it's either a, um, a dugite or a brown snake. I'm not, I'm not exactly a snake expert. Mate, I've got rain clouds right over me at the moment, like literally directly over me, and they're threatening. But uh, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. So a few people might ask me, this is my Revel 8 Designs bag. Uh, that's a Revel 8 Designs bag. This is a bike bag dude. So you can check him out, it's not sponsored. Bike bag dude. This thing's probably the best thing because you can just put it there, it's all handy. Um, I've got quite a lot of stuff in that bag, actually probably too much stuff. But I just wanted to be warm tonight and comfortable in some nice clothes. So, but it just goes to show you can fill those bags up very easily. And on this bike, it doesn't really feel particularly heavy. I don't feel it's, it's swaying around and stuff. So, um, not like the carbon fiber bike, as I said in my last video. <laughs> I'm on the very steep hill. I don't know the name of this hill, but it's a, it's a bloody steep hill. And I'm probably maybe 13, 14% now, but it kicks up further up here to about 17. So on camera, you can't tell how steep that is. You just can't even tell it's a hill. It looks like a flat road, but it is, it's horrendous. As usual, I didn't bring enough food or water just retarded it's like I never learn but I'm halfway up this climb mate I'm dying like I'm literally dying here and uh, I've still got quite a way to go as you can see behind me it's quite steep I'm supposed to meet the guys at 6 p.m. in Ballarat it's uh, oh, it's at least 20 past 5 now and I've still I'm just over halfway. So I'm not gonna even get in there till eight o'clock. So that sucks. Anyway, it is what it is. So I'll just keep riding, just keep pushing on. The good thing is, the positive is that I've got a tailwind. 
Uh, that was a tough climb, man. I remember I've done that easier in the past. Do you do hot chips? Oh, we can, yeah, if you like to. Alright, my chips and gravy have arrived. I had to get moving. Sick. What the hell am I going to do with this? What the hell are you looking at? Oh, look at that. What a cracking sunset. It's pretty scary when you get, as you get older, you get like triple chins. But, uh, I've made it to my hotel room, Legends. This is it, just the lap of luxury. I've actually even pushed those two beds together to try and make a queen bed, but there's a massive gap. I'll show you the gap. There's a massive gap. So, yeah. That's yeah, why, so I've got, yeah, yeah. I've got a wide angle lens too now. It's cool. If you take it away, you want to make Nice camera. So, yeah, it's yeah, kind of, the virtual viewing is nuts. Because you can put like a, a three by on the front if you want. Yeah. Or a climbing cassette on the back. Like if you're doing a hilly race, you can actually sleep flip to a climbing cassette. A TT race, you can have a straight block. Yeah. And you're like, what? Because it's a simple speed, but it's all. 100%. We turned up late in anticipation of you turning up really late. <laughs> I know he, kno <laughs> hey, he knows me so well, he would have been like, don't worry, Ferg will be like half an hour late. <laughs> Yeah, that was exactly it. <laughs> All right, we're trying to share the live tracker on Wahoo. One of the boys got a live tracker so that Melbourne crew can come and join us. But we're, mate, I have no idea how to do this social media stuff. I'm trying to get the boys to show me how to do a live tracking <laughs> link. That, isn't it? it is. I feel like <laughs> I, I, it's come to a. I've it's come because to a you're not that. It's come, I've come to the conclusion that I'm an old man. It's and only I'm just, so much space in your brain, isn't it? Uh, now it's filled with kid stuff. Exactly. Yeah. We're here at Gordon. We've actually come back through into Gordon. That's the uh, the pub in which I got my uh, hot chips last night. And we've got Francis over here. He is um, currently in the process of buying a new lens online. His lens has died on the very last day of the trip, the which is absolutely disgraceful. We've actually filmed this whole segment before, once before, <laughs> but I had, the, I had the camera in slow mo. This takes much better. So, <laughs> this take, I don't think this takes as good. No, it's not good. <laughs> it's fake. It's fake. Yeah, it's fake. It's fake. Should, so you take, should you take three now? <laughs> just wait, I'm nah, gonna, I can't even put my finger straight. <laughs> we can't do a take three. So what's going on, mate? There's been less swearing in this take. <laughs> it has. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that camera. Uh, so this thing here has died. Has died, and he can't do any vlogging on his very last day. Terrible. I mean, Are we going to write a letter? First of all, problems really, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah I think it'll be fine. Like this take is shit compared to the last day. <laughs> you can the last see the day. last one in an outtake. It's <laughs> all in slow mo. The last day. I'll show you the last take. <laughs> you can play the whole in, thing. It's, I did the whole <laughs> thing in end, slow mo. At the end of the video, it would just be that outtake <laughs> for <with> a song. <laughs> Mate, you did well finding us. Yeah. No, I'm coming home from my brother-in-law's. Oh, and you and saw just, us. Yeah. There's Maven, there's Chris, there's Francis. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. yeah your tracker says you're in the UK at the moment. I, I, I clicked it on, I was like, I don't even know we had a tracker. Oh, that's how Brad found us. It's not, even, it's not working, apparently. We're still in London, mate. Oh, oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. Oh. How do we get a beer? I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to have tea. All right, we've made it all the way to Brunswick. And we've just arrived at one of the pubs. We're gonna have a beer. We've deserved it. I'm a broken arrow at the moment. Boys, you made it. You made it. Well done. With your help. Absolute legends. You deserve it.
And that is the end of the vlog, legends. I can tell you, we had far too many beers on that last night, but we had a lot of fun. Massive congratulations to Chris and Francis for riding 3,500 Ks across Australia. Uh, I rode, obviously, with the last day. Uh, if you want to see Francis's video, go check it out. So Francis Cade on YouTube, and he's done a video uh, showing his perspective of the day. So what I wanted to sort of finish up on very quickly, and I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm going to rush through this very quickly, but I shot this whole video on the iPhone 11 Pro. So this bad boy here, as you can see, it's got three little cameras on it. Um, so the probably the most notable is the wide angle lens, and then you've got the standard and telescopic lens, which are pretty handy as well. So look, let me quickly summarize. I'll start with the positives. So the audio is pretty outstanding for a camera. Normally audio is very important when you're filming. And so, you know, that's why I've got this big microphone in front of me. It's, it's worth it to have good audio. There are problems obviously naturally with any device when you're on the bike and you're moving with the wind, you're always gonna get some wind noise. And with a Canon G7X or a digital camera, you can cover the microphone with a little bit of fluffy stuff, sticky stuff, and that stops the wind noise. But obviously with an iPhone, you can't do that. So that's probably one of the drawbacks. But if you're standing still out of the wind, uh, the microphone's fine. Uh, one thing I will say is the image, image stabilization is outstanding. So it, I did everything handheld in that vlog and I wasn't using a gimbal. Some of the footage, I mean, the, the footage of me on the bike when I was uh, doing some B-roll of the cows and the rain in the distance, that was all me on the bike holding the camera like that, just moving along. And it's very, very stable. I haven't applied any stabilization in the software. And so I'm pretty impressed with that. Uh, the colors out of camera are okay. Uh, the image out of the cameras are pretty amazing. The colors are probably a little bit too saturated. So for me, I've gone into Premiere Pro. I've reduced saturation a little bit, uh, applied a curve to the footage, and that's about it. I didn't really apply a LUT or anything like that. I just tweaked a few settings. And for me, that's for, for my taste. That's the image that I like. Um, a lot of people obviously like the saturated look, but... Um, you know, it, it's horses for courses. Now, I was using the iPhone inbuilt camera app and it was fine for what I was doing, obviously doing little vlogs like this. You can change the uh, to a wide angle lens on the right hand side. You can go to the standard lens and the telescopic lens. I mostly did the telescopic lens for the B-roll stuff and for all of the vlogging stuff, I used the wide angle lens, which just, just shows you more of the environment and just gives you a better, gives the viewer a better understanding of what's going on and where you're at. If you want to get more cinematic, you can use apps like Filmic Pro to reduce the shutter speed to double your frame rate. So, and that that gives it a more cinematic motion blur. Uh, sometimes, if you have the shutter speed too high, you can give an unrealistic uh, motion blur. You can see my hand here is is. Uh, you know, blurring nicely, but if we had the shutter speed set really, really high, then you'd get no bl no motion no motion there, no motion blur at all. So, is that a big thing for most people? It's not. Even for me, I've done hundreds of videos on YouTube. I don't even really care about the motion blur. And I know Francis Cade when he sets his exposure, he keeps the aperture at the same place and then he um, at the same setting and then he increases the shutter speed or decreases the shutter speeds for for his exposure and he doesn't care so it's up to you guys i mean when you start using something like filmic pro and setting your shutter speed that app allows you to set your shutter speed then you have to start using nd filters now if you're going to do that uh, sandmark have actually in the past sent me some nd filters which are fantastic so depending on the brightness of the day you can put these little clip sandmark uh, nd filters over your phone and uh, it, it'll, it does the job. There's other companies that do these things, but I really like the Sandmark ones. Uh, I've got Sandmark uh, ND filters for my drone. And so, you know, I find those things fantastic. If you are particular about setting your shutter speed and your frame rate to, to, for, for exposure. But for the most people that are going to be using these things, the vlogging, they're not going to worry too much about that. And I think at the end of the day, your uh, your image quality is going to be pretty good regardless. And I don't think many people are going to notice the motion blur. 
Uh, probably two minor drawbacks. Uh, you know, obviously with the wide angle lens, you have to turn the, the, the iPhone around. So you have to start recording and then turn it around so that you can make use of that wide angle lens and then you can't see yourself. But that's okay. It's, it's not such a big drama. Uh, probably the biggest caveat for me was the low light. So in a low light situation like this or at night time, uh, the footage is so digitally processed and these sensors are so small that you're always going to get grain and, and sort of terrible stuff going on in the shadows and you'll notice it first in the shadows and the image is just it just falls to pieces so look the phones are getting better these cameras are getting better as the years go by this is probably the best on the market the iphone 11 pro but to be honest with you it's still crap in my opinion and uh you you can't you just cannot use this thing at night. There are There is a night mode setting where you can take photos and stuff, but it's more so for photos. Um, I haven't really tested it uh, immensely. You probably can do it for video, but look, I just wouldn't use something like this in, in at night time. You probably, if you're going to do any filming at night, you're probably better off using a Sony camera, uh, you know, Canon, something, something with a nice big full frame and, and a, a fast lens. But look, seriously, all up, I think... Uh, it was a pretty good vlog. I thought, you know, I think most of you will agree the shots on the iPhone 11 Pro are pretty awesome. And uh, it was nice just to not to carry this big GH5 uh, with my big Olympus lens on it around. And uh, we'll see how we go. I might shoot more, more videos on it. But um, if you've got any questions, if I've left anything out, uh, let me know in the comments below, Legends, and I'll try to get to all, the, uh, all those. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.